Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another ultra exciting IS Boxer video. In this one, uh, it's sort of an extension of the prior video. So it doesn't matter if you saw the prior video or not, but if you want to watch that, the link is in the description. In the prior video, I showed how to use sound volume actions, but then I showed how to tie them into a slot swap macro. And this video is kind of an extension of that, just another example of how to use a slot swap macro. So I'm going to say that the, the majority of multiboxers, they generally crank the settings up, uh, the in-game video settings and whatnot, they crank those up on their main client that they spend the most time on. And the other characters, they all get neglected, you turn the settings down and it's just, it's terrible. It's very nasty video settings, but you do that to save on load because you're really not looking at those other characters. However, when you swap over to that screen, you are reminded on how bad the game can actually look. Some people just put up with that. I'm personally a, uh, a sucker for aesthetics, as I've said it plenty of times before, so I really like my video settings to look nice. Um, uh, other times, people can just dial in like very similar settings across all the game clients, but um, then that doesn't allow you to really crank the settings up necessarily uh, on one as opposed to the rest. So the way to fix this is that in World of Warcraft, you can actually macro in uh, commands to change video settings on the fly. Now, this is the only game that I'm familiar with that allows you to do this. If there's another game out there that you can multi-box that um, allows you to do that, then this video pertains to that game as well. I'm just not familiar with one that has such a system. World of Warcraft does, however. You can change a lot of the commands with just slash commands that can be thrown into a macro. And that's exactly what I've set up here. So on the top screen, very clear, pretty shadow. So I've got some ambient occlusion going on. We can see off into the distance. We can see trees all the way out into the distance. And on the lower screen, we have one static shadow here on the road. It's very pixelated and blurry. Um, we're starting to see some fog out in the distance there. And it just generally doesn't look all that great, right? But when I swap screens, when I actually make the bottom and the active game client, just like that. Sound effects included. So this is an example on what you can do with a slot, sl uh, slot swap macro. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. <clears throat> so yeah, so um, how do we do this? Well, first of all, there's a whole long list of console variables or CVARs for short. Uh, they can be accessed via the slash console command. And here's a big long list of them over on uh, Wowpedia. There's, a, I'll throw the link in the description as well. Big long list, a lot of these are pretty useless. Um, some of them are protected that you can't change on the fly, but generally what people are looking at are the, um, are the camera settings and the graphic settings. That's generally what you're changing on the fly. Um, again, you can look through this and try to pair up which, which one goes with uh, which setting. I don't have a list made um, up just yet or anything like that, but um, I did pick a few. So what we do is we come into the game helper section of World of Warcraft here, um, which is where all the macros are stored. If this isn't a macro tutorial, but I'll link another one in the description for a slightly older video, but still completely uh, useful in terms of figuring out how to use macros in IS Boxer. So I've just created a bunch of macros. I could have consolidated these, yes, but I've just broken them up um, for the sake of, of breaking them up. So you can see each, each setting by themselves. And um, what I've done is I've just come into the same slot swap macro I showed in the prior video, and I've added in these actions. So, you know, the high settings, they go to window current, which was gonna be the current window I'm playing from. And of course, all the others, the disableds or the lows, they're going to all without current, which is gonna be all my background game clients. Um, and I'm using, uh, just for clarification here, when you right click on actions, you go to keystroke actions, I am using named World of Warcraft macro actions, the one that I'm currently highlighting right this moment. The one below it, the, the World of Warcraft macro action is actually a deprecated action, no longer in use. Um, it's only an ice boxer for backwards compatibility for people who have really old profiles and still have World of Warcraft macro actions. Um, it would obviously break their profile if they tried to come back and load that into uh, IS Boxer. So Lax keeps that around, but the new one, the much cleaner approach is the named World of Warcraft macro action. Um, right, and then when you have this macro created, just like I showed in the prior one, come into your character set, under each slot, you're going, to be you're going to be enabling when I switch to this character. So check that box. You've got two options. You've got broadcast this keystroke or you've got do this map key. 
You want to do this MAVD key, you want to pick the key map where your slot swap uh, MAVD key resides. Mine isn't always on. And then, of course, you pick it from the list here. And you do that on every single slot in your character set. So you can see I've got that set here, got that set here, and I've got that set right here on both slots. And that's pretty much how this works. Now, if I have one last little bit of advice to, um, I guess maybe two things real fast. Um, what we can change here is uh, in the macros, view distance uh, currently in, in Mr. Pandaria has a range from 200 to 1350. 1350 being what Ultra gives you, and 200 um, is actually lower than what the game client uh, allows you to set from the dropdown. So the low setting in World of Warcraft is far clip 400, but you can take this all the way down to 200. So we'll do that. And just in, as an example, when I export, and we come back into the game. If you're running the game and you're exporting, you're changing macros and whatnot. Now this is also talked about in the macro video with, uh, for Iceboxer, but just a quick recap. If you're changing, nothing changes, right? It, it's, the same, it's the same trees in the distance with a little bit of fog. And that's because I need to reload the macros. And the only way to do that is to reload the interface. By reloading the interface, you're reloading the add-ons and the IS Boxer macros are stored in the IS Boxer add-on. So when you reload and you do that, and then when you change, you can see that we've lost all of the trees in the background now. So we've actually brought the view distance down um, more than what the game uh, allows you to through the interface. And that's not cheating or anything like that. It's obviously a slash command. If they didn't want, if they didn't want people to use it, they would just hard code it at 400, just like they hard coded Ultra at 1350. So uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, one last bit of advice, I guess, is under system. When you look at the settings here, some of these settings, actually two things of advice. First of all, some of these settings, depending on your hardware, may impact your slot swap time. So if you don't have all that powerful hardware and you're trying to change a bajillion settings at once during a, a swapping of slots, you may feel a few seconds of delay, specifically with texture resolution. Now I have a pretty beefy system here, and texture resolution, what that does is it's the textures that you're seeing in the game client. And to swap those out, it needs to load new textures into memory, meaning it needs to remove the old ones and put the new ones in, which takes a few seconds. Even on my beefy system here, when I switch from high to good, you'll see that when I hit apply, it's gonna take two to three seconds for the game client to become responsive again. So I hit apply, and you see that the, the apply button's frozen, and then all of a sudden it changes, right? And that's, that's also true for uh, good to low as well. So if you go from good to low, it's, it's frozen, and then, it's, and then it comes back. So if you're changing something like texture resolution on the fly, you're going to feel that two to three second delay every time you, saw, you swap, uh, I told you it's a tongue twister. Every time you swap slots, you're going to feel that two to three second delay. To me, that's not re really ideal. So if you wanted to run high texture resolution in one game client and good on the rest just to save on some GPU, you know, that's perfectly fine. I personally wouldn't be swapping texture resolution on the fly just because of that. But again, if you're changing a bunch of things on the fly, um, you might expect some delay. Just, I don't know, try to keep it simple. Try to hit the things that hurt the most, like view distance, environmental detail, shadows, and uh, SSAO are the biggest offenders for uh, GPU. Uh, load and CPU load as well. Now the other thing I have to say is that there's there's several uh, threads that have been created over the years about these uh, slot swap macros. People have put in what they use, like a big long, uh, big long list of different settings that they change on swap. I have to recommend that you don't go and seek out some old Wrath of the Lich King uh, macro because the settings have changed over time. The console variables have changed over time, and if you start using old outdated macros, either things aren't going to work and you're gonna be like, why aren't they working? Or it's going to create problems and then you're gonna be wondering why you've got these additional problems, right? So my advice would be to try to figure out which of these settings tie into the console variables uh, in that list and then go from there and then start experimenting. Um, of course, if you need any help, if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns as well, please come to the Iceboxer forum or the live chat and uh, anyone can help you out with trying to put one of these together. So that's that. Thank you for watching, and Mirai out.